Getting a paid jam uh, CBT training is not something bad, but if you want to save your money or probably you are not financially buoyant or capable, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I will teach you how to use computer effectively for your jam examination. And this video is going to prepare you for what exactly you will see or face in the jam examination or as far as the use of computer is concerned. Now, what I will discuss with you is not something that you will just watch and believe that you know it all. You also have to put something into practice. I mean, you also have to put into practice what I will teach you or discuss with you in this video. You have to get yourself some things which I will also use to teach with you in this video. And what are those things? The first thing you need, which I also will be using to teach you is a computer and a mouse, just as you can see here. So this is the first thing you also need it. To, for your practice either you have it or you are going to probably get it from someone else very important you have it for your own personal practice the second thing you need is your jump cbt practice application there are some of these uh, cbt practice you can you can get access to online but to make it very easy for you it's good if you can get uh, offline software that you will download to your system and you use it to practice whenever or wherever you want to if you can see the screen of my laptop here you can see i have a, a cbt practice app here it is an offline app which i'll be using to take you through in this video uh, for me i like to use my school app which is i think it's a very good one like a lot of uh, jump practice questions thousands of questions you can get access to so but this application which is my school app which i'm talking about is not a free app it's a paid app that is an app that you have to pay for if you want to get access to this app application add on the full application then you have to pay a sum of 1000 euro which most of the people that do physical training that i know make use of this my school applications if i have to recommend any jump cbt training app for candidates then my school will be the first on my list another uh jam cbt practice application is pass.ng pass.ng is also a very great one i've used it before too here test driller is also a very good one i think i've tested it and it works well without wasting much of your time let's go into the video proper yeah just like i've said earlier in this video i will be using my school app to take you through the uh, jam cbt training I'm talking about cbt training so we are talking i am talking about how are you going to use some things that you are going to use on the computer as in starting from the mouse so the very most important things that you really need to learn when it comes to cbt uh, practice or cbt training which i'll be taking you through now is the mouse so now talking about the mouse a lot of people make a lot of mistakes when it comes to the use of mouse in fact generally not uh when people are using it only uh, to do exam or something you made mistake using mouse now if you don't know how to use your mouse properly then it can slow down your it can slow down the way you attend to your jump examination or the jump questions on the jump examination so it's very important you know how to make use of the mouse properly now how do you make use of this mouse it's something that you know it's very very important like i have said earlier as you can see this is the mouse with the right click this this place is called the right click this place is called the left click and this place is called the scroll the scroll as you can see now this is just something uh very uh very easy now for instance everybody have we have five fingers it's how do you have your fingers on this mouse so as to use it correctly now a lot of people when holding mouse will hold their mouse like this but the proper way to hold a mouse is you having your hand on it like this that is you are having your this your finger your first this your finger you're having it beside here and the other finger this middle finger you're having it in the middle this uh, finger this finger you're having it on the left click and this one the second to the last you have the second to the shortest finger you're having it on the right click so then you're having the shortest the shortest finger at the right side of the mouse so this is the proper way to hold a mouse not like this not like this not like this the proper way to hold the mouse is like this it will be very very easier for you to hold the mouse like this than any other way around to learn one of the things you have to learn correctly 
before anything is how to hold the mouse so and which this is the correct way to do so having know how to hold the mouse correctly the next thing is how do you move the mouse now a lot of people made a lot of mistakes about this too so when people want to move the mouse left and right i'm very sure you can see the cursor this is the cursor here as you can see this is the cursor i mean this is the pointer the mouse must not leave the mouse pad now for instance if you are moving it like this and you realize that the mouth the mouse is moving uh out of the mouse pad even with the fact that you are moving you are moving the, like for instance if the mouse is here before the mouse is here before if you are moving the mouse if you are carrying you carry the mouse like this moving it back to this to any position the pointer will not move so what i want you to understand is that whenever you are moving you are moving the mouse it's it's uh, supposed to be at a very small uh, a very little distance not that you just be moving it like this till you move it out of the path you have to be very careful when you are moving your your mouse when you are doing your damn examination after you have logged in with your damn registration number the most important thing for you now is to answer the question now i will advise you that you, you should just keep your mouse beside around the question for instance around the question you have to move down you will not have to move long it's just be like this so if you have to move up i think you can see my hand on mouse because i want to move down i will not just drag it like this because i want to move up i will not just drag it like this i will be taking it lead to and lead to to the to whatever place i want to move it to either down up left or right and another thing which is very important that i have said earlier is that your mouse should not move out of the mouse pad if your mouse move, move out of the mouse pad, the mouse might not be working very well. So you must avoid the moving that will move your mouse out of the mouse pad. This is what you have to understand. If you carry your mouse like this, your pointer is not moving. If you carry your mouse like this, your pointer is not moving. The only time your pointer is moving is when you are moving the mouse. Now, before you click on anything, before you click on anything you want to click on, you must you must have your pointer on whatever you want to click on for instance if i want to click on next now this is next now i have my pointer on it already then i click on that and i left click on it not right click left click on it then it works to the next question if i click on it again it's going to the next question which is number eight so this is that is how you uh, make use of the this, that's how you make use of it now after after you logged in or with your damn registration number i don't think you have any reason to use the right click anymore i don't think so i don't think you have no reason to to use the to use the left click this is how to use mouse correctly and effectively for jam examination let's talk about how to use the jam eight keys so if i want to go by the the keys introduced by jam all i have to do is to is to click on a then the option a will be chosen as you can see like that now i've chosen option a the next thing for me is to go to the next question right so n is for the next question you just find n on the next on the keyboard then click on n then you will go to the next question you can see i've been moved to the next question which is question 13. so if i want to choose c here i will just click on the c so you, are, you can see it's i've chosen c if i want to go to the previous question then i click on p so it take me back to number 12 s which is the key key number seven is uh submit which is s if you click on s now it means you want to submit the question it will bring something like uh are you sure you want to submit uh this question now now or something like that so if you don't want to submit it that is when the key r which is the last key which is uh the eighth key which is key r, r of this laptop is not working so if you click on key r it will definitely disappear this dialog box so in a, in summary now for the keys you have key a b c and d n p s and r so for key a b c d is to choose option from option a to d and for key n is to go to the next question and for key p is to go to the previous question and for key s is to submit key r is to refer back to the question if you mistakenly click on submit now if you want to learn more about these keys or you want to know which of these is better maybe the mouse or the use of the key you can uh check the description box below for a video i've made specifically on that particular topic now let's talk about how we use the touchpad 
you, if you are able to get a laptop computer on the jump examination day another thing you can use instead of you using the mouse or the keys the eight keys introduced by jump you can also use the touchpad now this is how this touchpad is working it's just working like the mouse too so this middle place that you see where you can click to move where you can move your cursor if you track to the left to the right up then this is where you can move your cursor this thing is called the touchpad then this is the left click and this is the right click as you can see so now after you have been after you are on the questions and answers so the only thing you need now is your your left click for instance just like just like the use of mouse the only thing you need is your left click for instance uh, if i am on this question now i want to choose this after having my pointer on um, if if b is the correct answer and i want to choose b after having my pointer after i have dragged my pointer to b then what i would just do is to use the left click to click on that pointer as you can see if, if it is d i want to change it i can come and click on d as you can see but it is left click not right click so if i want to go to the next question all i need to do is just is just to move my pointer to the next and click i use the left click to click on it as you can see then i will up to the left left again then use you left again you still use the left click to move the left and if it's also previous to drag your pointer to the previous then you click on it with the left click these are all you need to obtain them examination take this thing into personal practice so if you can practice it i am very sure that when you get to the damn examination or on the day of your schedule you have no problem using the computer to attempt the damn examination thank you